College, Prabharanagar, Loni. I have been working as a junior college lecturer since 28 years. Hi viewers, on the holy occasion of Gudhi Parva, happy to inform all of you, I am going to start my YouTube channel by the name Wings of Physics. It will be helpful to understand the concept of physics in easier way. So, let us begin with a chapter, a thermodynamics. Because that chapter is newly introduced in our syllabus and so many doubts are present in so many students and so I decide to start with this chapter. Okay? What is the meaning of thermodynamics? Therm. Means therm means heat and dynamic means motion. Means when heat flows from one part of the system to another part of the system, it gets converted into the work. Sometimes it gets converted into the change in internal energy. Means when heat is in motion, at that time it gets converted into the work or it gets converted into the internal energy. And therefore, the definition of thermodynamics is the, a branch, thermodynamics is a branch of physics which deals with the concept of temperature and interconversion of temperature into the various forms of energy because we know that heat is a form of energy. Then, now we have to learn a concept of thermal equilibrium. What is the concept of thermal equilibrium? Suppose there are the two objects. First object is water. It is at a temperature 50 degree Celsius and a sphere which is at 30 degree Celsius. When that sphere is dropped in this water, at that time we know that the heat always flows from higher temperature to lower temperature and therefore in this case it flows from this water to this sphere and up till the temperature of these both the objects it becomes 40 degree Celsius. Therefore, when two objects they are at the same temperature, at that time we can say that the system is in thermal equilibrium. Understood? What is the definition of thermal equilibrium? When two objects they are at the same temperature, at that time we can say that they are in thermal equilibrium. Then by using the concept of thermal equilibrium, we have to study the zeroth law of thermodynamics. What is the zeroth law of thermodynamics? Zeroth law of thermodynamics. Now consider the figure. In this figure, three systems are there. System A, System B and System C. Then again, this is the system A, system B and system C. And again, this is system A, system B and system C. This double arrow indicates that these two systems are in thermal equilibrium. Again, this double arrow indicates that these two systems are in thermal equilibrium. Then, these two systems, this double arrow indicates that these two systems are in thermal equilibrium. Means, this first figure indicates that system A and C are in thermal equilibrium. Means, if temperature of system A is 40 degree Celsius, then C is also 40 degree Celsius. This second figure indicates that if temperature of system A is 40 degree Celsius, temperature B is also 40 degree Celsius. And according to these two figures, we can say that system B and system C, means system B is having 40 degree Celsius temperature and system C is also having 40 degree Celsius, means these three systems, they are having same temperature. Means what is the statement? If two systems are each in thermal equilibrium with a third system, then they are in thermal equilibrium with each other. I repeat, when two systems are each in thermal equilibrium with third system, they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. 
means by using the concept of the thermal equilibrium we can explain the zeroth law of thermodynamics and this zeroth law of thermodynamics is useful in case of a thermometry what is the thermometry a branch of physics that used to measure the temperature that branch is called as thermometry and zeroth law of thermodynamics is used in thermometry when we measure the temperature of any object at that time we insert a thermometer in that object and the temperature of that object and the temperature of thermometer they are at same te same temperature and therefore we can say that these two are in thermal equilibrium and different temperature scale can be determined with the help of zeroth law of thermodynamics now we have to study about the three detail concepts that are the heat work and thermo uh, th internal energy first concept about heat what is the definition of heat when two objects they are at different temperature then something is flow from higher temperature to lower temperature that something that is nothing but energy and the energy transfer heat is nothing but the energy transfer when two objects they are at different temperature or heat is energy transfer when there is a temperature difference between two object and it always flows from higher temperature to lower temperature that is the definition of heat the next important point that is heat is a scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity and its si unit is joule second point that is its older unit is calorie calorie is the older unit of heat then what is the meaning of calorie one calorie heat for example consider a 1 gram of water this is the 1 gram of water and its temperature is 40.5 degree celsius and we have to increase the temperature of this water by 1 degree celsius means we have to increase the temperature of water this 1 degree celsius means up to 50.5 degree celsius for that we have to supply heat to that water and that heat that that heat is nothing but a 1 calorie heat means we have to increase the temperature of 1 gram of water from 40.5 degree celsius up to 15.5 degree celsius means we have to increase 1 degree celsius temperature well, at that time a heat is supplied to that water that is nothing but a 1 calorie heat then what is the relation between the calorie and joule the relation between calorie and joule is 1 calorie that is equal to 4.186 joule and approximately it is 4.2 joule means 1 calorie that is equal to 4.2 joule this is the relation between the calorie and joule we have to use this relation while doing the numericals or while no so solving the examples in physics okay the next point it is a path dependent term means it depend on path if path goes on changing we heat goes on changing and therefore it is a path dependent term in thermodynamics three variables are there heat work and internal energy out of these three variables heat is a path dependent term this it is a path dependent okay the next point that is sign convention that is very important heat absorbed by the system is always considered as a positive by heat leaves through the system it is always considered as a negative understood it absorbed by it i repeat it absorbed by the system is always considered as a positive and it leaves through the system it always considered as a negative and this is all about the heat okay now next concept that is work second talk that is work that 
system. At the that time, when heat is absorbed by the that system, at that time there is a work done because the internal energy goes on changing and due to increase in internal energy, expansion is there. And when expansion is there, at that time work is done by the system. Okay? When heat absorbed by the body, at that time expansion is there. And at that time we can say that the work done by the gas. And it is always considered as a positive. When the compression is there, when gas is compressed, at that time we can say that when compression is there, then the at that time we can say that work done on the gas. Okay? Means expansion is there. Then we can say that work done by the gas. Whenever expansion is there, we can say that work done by the gas and it is considered as a positive. And when compression is there, at that time we can say that work done on the gas and it is considered as a negative. And this is the sign convention. While solving the problem, you must use this sign convention. Understood? Whenever expansion is there, we can say that work done by the gas. And that work done is always considered as a positive. Again, whenever compression of the gas is there, we can say that work done on the gas and it is always considered as a negative. Okay? Then work is also a scalar quantity. Its SI unit is also joule. Then it is also a path dependent. Heat and work, these two terms, they are the path dependent. Means if path goes on changing, the value of work done, that goes on changing and therefore work done is a path dependent. Then when cyclic process is there, suppose this is a cycle and in cyclic process, if cyclic process, then work done area under this cycle, that is the work done during this cyclic process. And when this is the clockwise direction, at that time that work done is always a positive. And in cyclic process, when the area under this curve, that gives you the total work done, but it is in anti-clockwise direction, at that time it is considered as negative. Understood? In cyclic process, when the arrow means the cycle is in clockwise sense, then work done is always positive. And when work done in anti-clockwise sense or the cycle is in anti-clockwise sense, at that time work done is negative. Then in PV diagram, suppose this is a PV diagram and area under the curve, suppose this is the area under the curve, this is PV diagram and area under the curve that gives you the work done during that process and this is all about the work done. Understood? Work done is path dependent term. Always keep in mind that work done and heat, they are the path dependent term. Then third term we have to study that is internal energy. Okay, what is the definition of internal energy? The energy associated 
associated with random disordered motion of the molecules that is called as internal energy and internal energy always denoted with the help of formula that is du we al always calculate the change in internal energy du is the change in internal energy and it is given by formula ncv dt n is number of moles cv is specific heat capacity at constant volume and dt is rising temperature or change in temperature understood and when internal energy always depends on temperature always keep in mind that internal energy always depends on a temperature okay and when the temperature goes on increasing internal energy goes on increasing when temperature goes on decreasing internal energy goes on decreasing then when expansion is there at that time the internal energy goes on decreasing and when compression is there the internal energy goes on increasing when expansion is there the gas cools down and therefore internal energy decreases and when gas gets compressed at that time temperature its temperature increases and therefore internal energy increases means work done and internal energy they are in opposite sense means when work done is positive internal energy is negative because we know that when the expansion is there work done is positive but when expansion is there internal energy is negative when compression is there work done is negative but internal energy is positive and when compression is there at that time the temperature of the gas goes on increasing again internal energy it is a state dependent term means heat and work they are part dependent internal energy is state dependent state dependent that is nothing but path independent it is also called as path independent there are some variables in thermodynamics they are the state dependent what are the state dependent variable they they depend on initial state and final state of the system then pressure volume temperature enthalpy entropy gibbs free energy all these functions they are the state dependent function and only two function means heat and work they are the path dependent term means pumps part dependent function you may ask the question the heat and work that is the path dependent function and the pressure volume temperature enthalpy entropy gibbs free energy all are the state dependent function then in case of the cyclic process suppose this is a cyclic process and in this cyclic process the change in internal energy that is always equal to zero because at initial state and final state temperature of the system remains same and therefore in cyclic process change in internal energy always equal to zero i hope you understood this three phenomenon in detail heat work and internal energy okay if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel if you have any query doubt put down in the comment section